You're watching Fox 17 Sports Ticket. For a Christmas gift for that special Detroit sports fan, we've got an idea for you. It's a book written by Western Michigan alum Charles Avison, and it's called Detroit City of Champions, detailing one of the greatest years in Detroit sports, 1935. It's the year Joe Lewis broke out, and the Tigers, Lions, and Red Wings all won their first ever championship. Steve Amros welcomed the author in studio earlier this week. It's our Fox Front Row. Detroit is such a great sports town, but a lot of people don't realize how special the year 1935 was. I mean, is that just lost to the time, or? Um, yeah, it was. I sort of speculate on why that it's uh, why 1935, why it's has it's sort of faded from our memories. Uh, after the World War II, the, the U.S. sort of entered a golden age of sports. You know, there's all these there's actually TV shows called the Golden Age of Baseball, the Golden Age of Football. You know, 1950s were really. Sports, you know, it was just, you know, the world just, the, the, the U.S. had just come out of World War II, and then, you know, everybody's come back, and they basically wanted to forget about the Depression. I mean, nobody wants to remember the Depression when things are going well, so a lot of these stories from the Great Depression were just basically put on the shelf and, you know, just kind of filed away in the memory. You start with Joe Lewis. Is that the most difficult part for you, writing, kind of dealing with the issues with racism? He's such a tremendously important figure on so many levels. I mean, he's just, when you, when you, you know, there's so many things you can say about Joe Lewis. I mean, just I mean, besides his physical prowess in the ring, I mean, there's so many things you can say about Joe Lewis, and I just, you know, I wanted to do him justice. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm not a big Joe Lewis historian. You know, I, I know way far more about the Tigers and you know Lions and even the Red Wings and that. But you know, and but you know, at the end of that, you know, reading about Joe Lewis, he really became a um, a very you know important uh, person in this book. And and also in the book, you you hypothesize occasionally here, especially about the Lions. 1935 is, of course, for the Tigers and Red Wings, both, uh, all three, they won their first championship, and, and you claim that perhaps had they, the Lions not won the championship, then we, we wouldn't have the Detroit Lions today. Yeah. I mean, if you, the, if you look at the Lions' history, the first three attempts to settle a team in Detroit all failed. Um, the first three attempts all failed, um, even in the roaring 20s, you know, when, the, when times were going great, they had they tried to settle a team twice in the, in the 20s, and both times it failed. And um, so, you know, here they are, 1934 was the first year of the Lions, and um, here in 1934, in the midst of the Great Depression, they're trying to establish a football team in Detroit after it's failed three times. I mean, it should have failed. And so with the Tigers winning the World Series, and then just a just just a month and a half later, the Lions win in the champion, you know, their championship, the NFL championship. It sort of linked these two franchises together because now all of a sudden they're shaking hands, two champions shaking hands in the papers. You know, now they're champions in their own right and they're legitimate, you know, Detroit sports. Uh, you know, they're, they're, they legitimize themselves in the Detroit sports world. Anything about the book that you really hope the reader takes out of? I mean, the people this time, they're in the midst of a depression. I mean, without a doubt. I mean, it's like right now the times are tough, you know. Um, it's borderline, you know, I don't even want to say the word, but it's it's a tough times right now, you know, and but back then, Detroit was the hardest hit city in the entire country. But I hope that that people see that, you know, they they got through the depression, they made it through it, and then the, and then the city came back. They thrived. It's a good book. I've, I've read it. It's right there. A lot of Detroit sports information. And if you're interested in a copy of your own, Charles Davison will be at the Hackett Catholic Central High School tomorrow from 5 to 9. Or you can order the book online at DetroitCityOfChamps.com. No, I certainly wouldn't say that. You're not a loser if you're a Lions fan. Are you doing yeah, we went looking for psychological advice.